for something adventurous? Are you a eco-friendly person? Are you willing to take risks? If you like untouched nature, majestic scenery, and don't mind trekking through jungles, welcome to Kyung Dong Cape Tour. Sponsored by Gecko Travel. We will show you a new world. First, we need to know what is ecotourism. Tourism taking place, having unspoiled natural resources with minimum impact on the environment. Today, we will talk about Sun Dong Cave and how we can reach it through potential in ecotourism. We have come up with some idea to make our, our, pres uh, our plan more eco-friendly. The first idea is to make a, a treehouse hotel. Have you ever heard of the treehouse hotel in Vietnam? Our company Greensbox has found the smartest and yet the most innovative way to open up Sơn Dong, the largest cave in the world, place in Quảng Bình Province, Vietnam. We are different from other companies because we prioritize the ecosystem as well as making profit. We also preserve the caves, making sure future generations can enjoy the beauty. We want to avoid mass tourism as we have seen its effect on other places like Hà Lan. Uh, we request the government permit only 10,000 tourists a year. This is a comfortable number since it will allow us to make a decent amount of profit at the same time not overflowing the caves. respectable judges. We are Green Heaven and this is a video from our advertisement campaign. <laughs> Vietnam is so polluted. That's so why we're coming so much. I want to leave here. Leave I'm Vietnam. I'm back to UK now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, let's, let's go. go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wait. What? Wait, what is wait. this? Wait, wait, wait. There's an advertisement which um, Green Haven Company which brings you the best experience ever and then no pollution. Native. Yeah, no pollution, absolutely. And also native tour guide. It's just great. Yeah. We should go there right now. Let's go! Let's go! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Back to it's so great, it's so great. Green Haven. One step closer to NINJA! <laughs> well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed that video. Up next will be a poster from our advertisement campaign. Welcome to Green Haven, our touristing slash sightseeing organization. Our primary aim is to provide eco-friendly services while still maintaining a consistent level of fun and satisfaction. Green Haven supplies everything from tents to fresh food brought from nearby villages with proper cooking gear that reduces pollution to a minimum. Green Haven, one step closer to nature. Thank you very much, Tinway. Tinway, stay where you are. Stay where you are. So the Skybike is just a possibility that we're de developing right now because uh, our aim for the Skybike is to actually cooperate with whoever is actually building the cable cars and change the cable cars to a more eco-friendly way of traveling, which is our Skybike. So that is more of a proposal right now. Question for Saigon, Mr. Sean. Is that right? Saigon, um, your treehouse idea. Where's Saigon here? The tree house idea was fantastic. I thought tree hotel. We're not cutting down trees. Okay, good. Good. That's what I want to hear. I thought a great idea. As long as you're not cutting down trees. Okay. Can I, uh, can I speak to somebody from Hanoi? Somebody from Hanoi.
is on oil. Yes, sir. So 10,000 people a year. Yes, sir. How many people a day is that? <laughs> You're the math teacher, sir. I am. The answer is... So now CAF is currently, uh, the government only permit 226 tourists a year and now we have increased the number. That's a very good answer. <laughs> Uh, we did not mention it in the post store or in the speech, but the price is not very expensive. We have research. Is that why you didn't mention it? Huh? Is that why you didn't mention it in your posters? Well, uh, no, because I, we decided that the cost might scare off some people, and if they wanted, they could check out our website. We actually had a very interesting situation because on our first round of voting we were tied between the two teams we had left, Durant and Bonnie. So we went to a second vote and by the narrowest of margins the Apprentice Challenge Day Champions for 2014 are Delance 